Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio. We have a video, sort of a pan of this tropical paradise. I would like to add my logo as an overlay over this video. However, my problem is when I add my graphic here with my logo onto an upper video track, you notice it obscures the video. It's got a white background behind it. And I would like just my logo to be there with transparency behind it so that I can see the video underneath that. Well, the challenge here is that the graphic I'm using is a JPEG. JPEGs are not transparent, but I want to show you how to make a transparent graphic. Let's delete that here from our timeline. I want to show you how to make a transparent graphic using Photoshop elements. Now the same process works if you're using a professional version of Photoshop, if you're using PaintShop Pro or GIMP, whatever file editing or graphic file editing program you have, it should work essentially on the same principles. So let's go over here to Photoshop. I'm going to open up my graphic. Mm -hmm. sure. So here is the graphic for my logo. And uh, even though I have no background behind it, you can see there's no background behind it. That's why there's a gray checkerboard behind it, even though it's transparent. When I save it as a file format that does not include transparency, the graphic will come out with a white background behind it. So when I save it as a JPEG, I'm going to get that white background. The trick is to first make sure you do have the transparency. If you've got another layer behind this, or if it's white behind this, it's not going to work. You notice I have no background layer here. If you look over at my layers panel, I have no background layer, only the layers that hold my graphics and my text. So I'm going to save it as a ping, which is probably the most versatile format for saving transparency, just by going to File, Save for Web. And here you can see we have options saving it as a JPEG or a GIF. A GIF also can hold transparency, but it doesn't have the color range of a Ping 24. So I'll select Ping 24 and I'll make sure transparency is selected. You notice if it's not selected, our graphic will come out with a white background. So with transparency selected, I'm going to click Save and then save my logo here as a Ping. Once that's done, I'll go back over to Movie Studio we'll import that graphic and there it is my ping graphic with a png as its suffix and you notice that you can see the transparency right there the gray checkerboard behind the uh, graphic and i'll drag it down here to video track two or my video overlay track and there we go look my graphic comes in with uh, no background behind it just the graphic itself and of course, we can resize this, we can animate it if we'd like. But that's the basic principle. As long as you're saving it in a graphic format, a ping is ideal for this. It just saves transparency. You'll be all set. And then you can use your graphic without that white background behind it as an overlay. Now, if you want to know more of these kind of tricks, you want to know how to use graphics, if you want to learn how to use various formats of video, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grizzetti, and I hope to see you again soon.